peace to you from God our Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. And a very warm welcome to Paisley Abbey on this seventh Sunday after Trinity, the 26th of July. Let us pray. God of eternal wisdom, you alone impart the gift of right judgment. Give us an understanding heart that we may value the treasure of your kingdom and gladly forego all lesser gifts to possess that kingdom's incomparable joy. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As we come before the God who loves us and forgives us, let us acknowledge our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own fault and in common with others. We are truly sorry and turn humbly from our sins. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect for today. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without you nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal that we lose not the things eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Joel will now read the Gospel for today. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 31 to 33. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seed, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs. It becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Again, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which somebody found and hid. Then, in his joy, he goes and takes all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. And finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. As a student for the Holy Ministry, I spent the summer of 1976 in the remote parishes of Kildonan and Kingrace in Sutherland. Sparsely populated, it seems nowadays the most unlikely place for a gold rush. But that is exactly what happened in 1869. 
gold was first discovered in the area in 1818, but public interest was sparked and a gold rush started following a newspaper announcement in 1868. A local man, Robert Nelson Gilchrist, who had spent 17 years in the gold fields of Australia, on his return home was given permission by the Duke of Sutherland to pan the gravels of the Helmsdale River. And he chose to prospect all the burns and tributaries in a very methodical manner. He found gold in many places, but the greatest concentrations were in the Schisgill and Kildonan burns. The accounts of his findings spread like wildfire throughout the north of Scotland. The illustrated London news circulated the story further afield, and within six months, over 600 hopeful adventurers had made their way to the normally deserted Highland Glen. In today's Gospel, Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. What is our dearest wish, our greatest desire? Wealth? Health? Happiness? Today's Gospel reminds us that, as followers of Christ, our greatest desire, our dearest wish, should be to live the life of God's Kingdom, as that life was revealed to us by Jesus Christ. Our greatest desire, our dearest wish, should be to become the embodiment of the love of God, as Jesus embodied that love. We are called to rush, not for gold, but to live lives that make known God's love to others. So to live is indeed the greatest treasure we can ever possess, for it is to be the people God created us to be and would have us be. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now hear the anthem, Praise Ye the Lord, sung by our head chorister Molly, after which John, Daniel, and Jessica will lead us in our prayer of intercession.
Let us pray. God our Father, you care for all your children. You know each one and hear each prayer. Hear the prayers we now offer for the church, for the world, for ourselves. Bless your church. Inspire us all uh, and fire us and all your people to make known to others your most precious gift of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, and all who rule over us in her name. Help them in these difficult days to make wise decisions and have a special concern for the poor and all in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the world with your love and mercy on all who are powerless. Shelter those who are hungry, homeless or oppressed. Help us to care for our neighbours and to cherish the life of your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Bless with your comfort all who are in trouble or pain, those who are ill or sad, bringing to them your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless our homes, our families and friends. May love and joy dwell there. Keep those who are absent from us within the protection of your love and hear now our own silent prayer for those who are dear to us and for ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, we give you thanks for your saints and for your people of every age and place who have entered the joy of your nearer presence. Inspire us by their example and encourage us by their fellowship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Merciful Father, Father, accept accept these these our prayers prayers for the the sake sake of of your your Son, Son, our Lord Lord and and Saviour, Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us sing the hymn, Christ is the King led by the choir in a recording made before lockdown.
Let us pray. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your Church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may make known to others the priceless treasure of your divine love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the family prayer of the Church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>